I want to see a frog with a lab coat with glasses. Yes. And a, and a tiny clipboard. And tiny bl tiny missiles. Missiles? Why does it need missiles? Scientists make missiles. Hmm. Uh, so they're not keeping the prisoner in the prison. No, oh, I could I couldn't make it. Damn it. Aww. Damn it. Wanna get that jump. Uh same place we were last time, except now we're on the other side of this busted up or busted up door. What the hell? This door! Which may or may not be busted. Uh and depends on who you ask. There is a cool thing. Huh? That's not it. Hey! God, just get out of the way! <laughs> There! <laughs> what is your problem with your brain, your spine? We got SIG spray. What, what does that do? I'm smoking. Does, does, does that allow us to shoot frogs that are up on top of things? I'm, I'm smoking. <gasps> smoking. <laughs> it's sleepy gas. Inside a cigarette. Stuff. Yep. Good night, scientist. I feel you are as kin to me. Perhaps one day you could be a spy in service to your country. You can institute a spy scientist exchange program. There's one other cool item in here. And that's just a handkerchief covered with the handkerchief. Yes. The stuff, knockout stuff. Chloroform stuff. Because I respect you, I will put you up on your feet instead of upside down. I wish you could do that. You this have is amazing! You have earned this honor. And now, I shall dust the windows. Clean the television. Time to clean the TV! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't use it three times in a row, just in the air in front of you. You, you go to sleep. No, oh, I thought it was because you covered the TV that you're sticking oh. your face in in chloroform. No, just do it three times in a row, and Snake gets all sleepy for a second. Oh, watch, watch them do science. That guy is intense with his science. Don't look at my face. <laughs> Who wears a bandana around here? Hmm. Is that you, Tom? Mm -hmm. No, that's Tom's signature move. <laughs> So yes, it was Tom. There is no Tom, there is only Zero. We got him. There was one other order for this place. We had to meet up with Granin. Or something, so let's go talk to Granin. Time for a cutscene for since a while. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. <laughs> ah. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. 
It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily, no. No crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohard pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But, the fool's in charge, chose Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohad is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? 
Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key... will open that door. Beyond that door lies a vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! People say things, and I just look at them, and then I do this. <laughs> then I repeat their last phrase back to them with a question mark. Well, I do that, and it pretends like I know what I'm talking about. And know what so you're talking about? And so far, it, it seems to be working. Working? Like I have a hat. Have a hat? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Why does it have glasses? <laughs> in here. Yes, I know, you, junkin' old man. Eva thought you'd never be believable as a scientist without glasses. All Russian scientists are nearsighted. Apparently. This part's a little annoying because... Snake have visual impairment. Like, if the guys see you, like, see your face, they go into alert, and you're walking straight towards them. I, maybe that guy will be distracted by his really furious science. <laughs> this guy eventually will come over here, and I will sig spray the hell out of him. I'm just a scientist. I'm not doing any type of science. Oh, look how intense he is. <laughs> He's giving himself terrible carpal tunnel. Look at that. If, if... Oh, science. Damn. Repetitive stress injuries are what really beat Russia in the Cold War. They did not have ergonomic keyboards. <laughs> they just if, if had they these buttons. Look at them. If, if those were ergonomic, the, the 20th century would have played out in a completely different way. Stop looking at me like a <laughs> retard! Just go do your science stuff, okay? What's this? It's a suppressor for the M16, isn't that nice? There. We have escaped from the scientist there. So another one here- AH! <laughs> go, you stupid scientist! <laughs> Science snake embarrassed. Hey, get open the door, scientist man! Today, 
I sneak ah. attempt what part the hell? <laughs> what a butt what a what a face. He has a stupid <laughs> face. What a jerk! He just pushed me over and he put the door open! <laughs> For that I'm gonna put you in a locker! <laughs> How did you get out of the locker last time? Did some pal just wake you up? You were okay with sleeping in a locker and you don't remember how you got there? <laughs> oh, you don't bite up that ration. It's a Russian ration. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know, but I like the way the leg wound up. Just gonna put you in your freaking retard <laughs> pushing me over with that door, you jerk! <laughs> Are they playing some sort of... Go to jerk! What? It, it looks like they're playing chalkboard pong over there. I don't get video games. <laughs> Snake was going to try second part of socialization training, but Wait. bad man pushed Snake down. Oh, more game magazines. This one's this one's from Elgir Solid. Two, according to that blurry texture. Snake does not want to be meat scientist friend. I'm gonna push a guy over with a door. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> you looking at Snake? You must be looking at Snake. Snake not see anyone else here. I like how he can do... Like, in, you can just roll straight up stairs like a torpedo, but Mel, you saw too, if you tried to do that, you'd hurt yourself and just lay... Like, hit your face on the stairs and you just lay there. It's because they had superior physical training during the Cold War. Oh, okay. <laughs> snake learn dance. You like Snake dance? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fun. I haven't seen Snake Dance, I should. Nah. Get away. Get what the out. hell is the scientist Get out doing? Of my way. Can't open through this door for some reason. I think the scientist has gone stir crazy. Uh, hmm. Stairs? What do you do with stairs? What do you do with a problem like Maria? Ugh. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, guy right there. <laughs> Back to I am. I am the woodland scientist. Fear me and my plant samples. I only do science <laughs> in nature. Natural science. Come here. When you use, like, there's an ammo counter for the handkerchief. When you like wave around, but if you just grab a guy, they just go to sleep and it won't use up your ammo thing at all. So it's pretty nice. The way he holds his wrist really irritates me. I'm snake. Just uh, look at me. I can be an otter. No, <laughs> oh, my bullets are full. Wow, it's hot today. Jesus! Everything's on fire! There's a new bird in this area. I don't really feel like sneaking, like, really hard, so... I'm gonna do it the lane cheat, cheating way. What? Oh, come on. What's that? Several needles in my body. Go to sleep. It's just my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Those needles weren't real. I'm still fit for duty, though. Um. Thud. Ugh. I swear there's a new bird around here. Oh, oh no. there he goes. I found Jenkins Zinovich. Jakin Zinovich. No, no new bird. I swear there's a new bird here. Unless. Oh, wait, no, those are the lights. Shoot. You can wake guys right up in if the you. Jaw. You can wake them up if you kick them in the head. There is a hole. That's just mean. Right here. Hmm. What's that hole doing? I'm outside the wall. But I'm still inside! <sighs> inside the outside. Everyone but outside. In, everyone's the inside. The outside. I... We're all inside the universe, Snake. 
universe. I don't understand. This universe. Snake not understand cosmology. What are stars? I mean, I get stars over the heads of soldiers. But what about stars in the sky? What are those? Snake, it, it means the Earth is going to be unconscious for a very long time. Mission complete. <laughs> We're all just dreaming, constantly dreaming. And sometimes other planets walk over and shake us until knocked, rations come out. I knock the entire planet out with one swell, swift kick. Do you want to save? A kick to the core of the Earth. <laughs> Snake, have you heard of The Last War? Nope, doesn't ring a bell. It's a Japanese movie where the world ends in a nuclear war. Tensions between East and West reach the breaking point and before anyone can stop it, they launch the ICBMs. Humanity is wiped out by a war that no one wanted. The movie depicts that destruction from the eyes of ordinary people. Their simple daily lives are torn apart by the terrible power of a war that has nothing to do with them. Everybody's afraid of the next big war, but there's only so much that one person can do. That's why the people who have the power to stop it have to. Well. That's depressing. Wait. Snake not understand geopolitical structure. We want to equip. We want to equip. The frog. And the tarantula. And the noodles. Equip noodles. No, I don't want to give that guy noodles. So it could make him friendly. This guy ain't friendly. He would be if I'm he stuck gave him in noodles. this voice. He'd be friendly if you gave him noodles. Huh? Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a not pain at all. all. The boss's apprentice. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time for you to feel the fear. Is he going to use that purple flower from Batman Begins? No. Uh, no, no purple flower. Oh no, we have a thing in our leg. There's actually a glitch sometimes. Uh, what am I doing? Disinfect. Yeah. Sometimes there's a glitch where you'll take out the uh, arrow, but it'll be there for the rest of the game, just stuck in your leg. <laughs> Oh, and serum to get rid of that poison. Whew. Well, there... That was suspenseful. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, he's invisible. Oh, there he is! Gotcha. Whoop. Ah, 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 ah. Scary man. Now I'm here. Yeah, yeah, what? Where, 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 oh, no! Oh, there he is. He's up there. 
Yes, there, yeah, yeah, get him, get him. The thing is, with his, you can see his, uh, the fear's stamina. Oh, right in the... It is in his butt. Almost. It's there, like at the very top. There are more Forrest Gump parallels all the time. They don't have any idea what I'm talking about, do they? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You can really like, easily cheat in this fight by uh, just use thermal vision. Ah, yeah. Whew. But the thing is, uh, you can see his the fear's stamina is always slightly going down, like very slowly, because the invisibility camo he uses like feeds on your stamina. Ah. So it helps a little bit with the stamina kill. Yeah. Oh! 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 I should shoot him. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, cool. But he gets tired. <laughs> and watch. He'll eventually... Oh, there he is. God, he goes far. He's he'll come down. Athletic. He'll come down and he'll look for animals to eat, but what happens if we, like, bait him with, like, a poison frog? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we will make him eat the no. Up and down. And up Whoop. and down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh! Ah. Yes! You ate the bad food. Oh, man, I wanted to tackle you, bro. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, bro? Eat more poison, please. It doesn't really hurt his stamina much. But it doesn't replenish it. Yeah. And eventually he'll puke. Eventually he. Just thrust into you? Yeah. Eventually he'll puke and lose more stamina. Where'd you go? Ah! Almost. Almost, almost got him. I only have seven bullets left. We've almost cured our fear. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kill him while he's puking. That's dignified. It is. Yeah. It is the best way to go. The fear! The fear! I see it! The fear! Well, we blew up Gene Simmons. Finally, I hate that guy. And he dropped a camo. Spider uniform. Hmm. Basically, it does the same, almost the same thing as him. It always puts you, you never leave 80% camo index, but uh, it drains your stamina like you can see it there. Ah. So there's a big trade-off. Tiger Stripe. This way. I think, like, once we get to the next map, and I say that'll be a good stopping point. Here we go. Get up there! Got, like, the sensitivity for jumping up on a cliff. It's like, either you do this, <laughs> or you just, like, constantly, like, edging towards, like, God, get, climb it! <laughs> there! I can't climb anything unless I'm my back to it first. 